went uh, to the English school Cairo, so uh, my friends were everything. I had uh, English friends who were themselves divided up between their numerous English Protestant religions. There were Catholics, um, there were Syrian Christians, there were Greek Catholics, there were two Chinese boys who claimed to have no religion. Uh, there was uh, Russian Orthodox, um, there were Muslims, uh, and they were all my friends, and they were all invited to my bar mitzvah. I was invited to their first communions, and um, uh, we knew each other's religions absolutely. I could recite the Fatha. Um, and certain surats of the Quran without, I still can. I could uh, say the Hail Mary, sing the English hymns, and uh, we, uh, and uh, they knew the Shema Israel and everything. Uh, we were studying at the Jesuits University called Al Hikmah, and we had Christian friends and Muslim friends, but at the end of the day, we just stuck to each other. Some of the students were really, really, really nice to us. Nice, but scared to be, but nice. And some of them were really, really provocative. I had very good friends that used to help me a lot. For example, when I got married, when I had my children, it used to be friends that helped me, really. And all these friends of mine that I had there, they were not all Jews. They were Christian. They're like sisters to me, they were the ladies. I don't think you could have uh, any fanaticism in a society which at that time was so mixed. You know, there was no way. I mean, you kept separate in the sense that these were all your friends, but you weren't going to marry the girls. And once that was understood, everybody was happy. Uh, of course, it didn't work out at the end. And uh, so we suffered in that for two reasons. First, we were amalgamated with the British, uh, and the Europeans, the colonialists. And second, we were not the British, the colonialists. We considered ourselves Egyptians. Indians and Somalis were the next bigger communities, big communities. And uh, we never had any problems with them. But we didn't have, uh, we didn't have such a thing as friends. Only for example, um, only from business point of view, or we went out to buy, you know, shopping. There's only communication, real communication with them. After I got married and all that, I learned how to play bridge. And playing bridge, you meet all sorts of people. I mean, if you like it or not, you have careers, you go to people, you meet new people. And that's how I became friends with lots of Muslim families, even Palestinians. They knew I was Jewish. I told you, I made it a point of telling them at the beginning to start with. It's their choice if you want to be friendly with me or not. So I, uh, we became friends anyhow. There Bad was reaction. plenty of anti-Semitism. It isn't that you don't feel it. There is that. But at the long run, they used to make an effort not to hurt too much your feelings. The, the uh, Sudanese children were all our friends, all the neighborhood. In our feast, they, they used to come and they used to help with the feast. Like in uh, Rosh Hashanah, they used to come and they, my, because my mother had a lot of uh, work to do, they used to come and help her. When it was their Ramadan or their feast, my mother used to go and help them with the baking. So they, when it was uh, Pesach, they used to come and they used to help her with do doing the matzah. At first I only had Jewish friends, and, but, uh, but then in the, in the lycée, I made a lot of non-Jewish friends. And when I changed from one French lycée to a Moroccan lycée, Lycée Moulay Ismail, 
I remember being friendly with an Arab boy who was extremely bright, and he used to uh, we used to walk back from the lycée to the bus stop together, and he was highly, highly intelligent. But otherwise, I never had any Arab friends uh, apart from that. No, but non non Jewish friends. Yeah, they were Christian. I had a lot of Jewish friends. It doesn't mean that I didn't have any, but I, that's why I was different because I used to have Muslim friends and everybody thought I was crazy, but I liked them. Why not? They're human beings like you and me. So you become friends with them and they are sincere. Despite the fact that, you know, uh, myself and my family were uh, you know, had a lot of uh, friendships and connections and partnerships and so on with non-Jews. Uh, but, uh, and you know, we were relatively well off most of the time in this respect. Uh, but, uh, you know, the, you know, being a Jew there was uh, uh, a very major factor in your life. You know, you, certain things you could do or couldn't do, you know, you certainly were perceived as something different and, you know, so, it's not, it's, it wasn't a kind of all sweetness and light and coexistence and, and so on. It was, uh, you know, there were different pockets of life and it depended where, where you were, who you were with uh, and so on. There's a difference in the two cosmopolitanism. Uh, in Egypt, if you were Italian, you went to Italian school, you, went, you celebrated all the Italian holidays, so the actual system uh, encouraged cosmopolitanism beyond the fact that uh, you come from a different culture. You maintain your traditions and your laws and your education precisely as it was back from where you came. So even though the environment is cosmopolitan in England, the majority of the non-English, they go to English schools uh, when they're of a certain age. Uh, and it takes maybe a, a generation for them to become much more integrated in the environment than it did in Egypt. On the contrary, in Egypt, the purpose was to maintain your separateness and you were encouraged to maintain your separateness and uh, admired for your separateness and your culture.